Hello, and welcome to another edition of Tech Tuesday, presented by Delta Media Group, where I am Groot. So, today we are going to take a look at some new functionality we have added to the DeltaNet that will allow you to send out text messages through the DeltaNet and actually have them logged on the customer's profile page for those customers that you send these text messages to. So, in order to set this up, uh, the first thing you'll need to do is make sure that you have a payment profile set up. So to do that, I'm going to go up here and click on Settings. And then I'll have an option here that says Payment Profiles. If for some reason you don't see that, you can type Payment up here, and it will bring your payment profiles up. Now, alternatively, if you are on Delta Net 5, um, you would click on Preferences, and then Payment Profiles will be in the sidebar under Preferences, and it'll say Payment Profile there. Either way, you'll find yourself on this Payment Profile Management page, where you'll need to create a payment profile. So to do so, I'm going to click on Manage My Payment Profile now, and you can see it opens up a new tab, and this is where it actually opens up your payment profile information. Now the reason it does that is in order to maintain security of this, we can't frame this page within the Delta Net. Also, we're managing all of the payment profile or payment processing through Authorize.net. So what that does is basically ensures that we're not storing any of your information, we're not keeping you know, your billing, your credit card information, we're not holding on to any of that. Authorize.net is actually the place where that's being stored, and we're just basically checking with them to see if any transactions are approved, that kind of thing. So it kind of takes us out of the middle of that. But Authorize.net is a um, a very large-scale credit card processing retailer, and you can you know you can look into them if you have any questions as far as security goes. However, <laughs> we've been using them for a while, and Authorize.net is um, a reliable and solid service for that. So once you get here. You'll click on Add a New Payment Method, and that'll bring up this payment interface here where you can enter your card information and then hit Save, and that will save it to your payment profile. So once you've done that, we can go ahead and close that window out, and we can set up a virtual phone number. So to do that, I'm going to go up here and click on my name, and then go down to Profile. Now this is the same as the Overviews page, so if you're in Delta Net 5, you would actually click on Website over in the sidebar, and then click on Overviews, and that would take you to the same page. Now once you find yourself here, we're going to go down and provision a virtual phone number. So to do that, I'm just going to type in phone, and then under personal phone numbers, you can see we have a button here for create virtual phone. Now in order to set up your virtual phone number, if you have created your payment profile ahead of time, you'll just click on this and the system will provision a number for you based on the area code that you have set up in your um, as your primary phone number, or your personal cell phone number, I believe is the one that it looks at. So It'll take a look at your personal numbers and find the zip code there and just provision you a number, and then you'll be all set to go. If you did not create your payment profile before you got here, when you click on Virtual Phone, it'll take you here and just request that you set up a payment profile. So that's why I had you go through that first. Now we'll go back over here to our profile page. So once you've created a, a virtual phone number, you'll be able to see it show up on this page. So I'll go ahead and switch to an account that has a number set up already. And we'll go back to the same page, which I'm actually already on that page. And personal phone numbers. And then you can see down here that we have virtual phone number. And there's our phone number set up. And now it also has a manage button next to it. And if we click on manage, that gives me the ability to see or to deactivate the number if I so choose. And also see all of the inbound and outbound text messages that have come to and from this particular phone number. Um, and then based on the nose, that number of messages, it also gives you some pricing here. So we'll go back over to the Overviews page. Now, the biggest deal here, or the reason that you want to set up a virtual phone number, or the reason that we require a virtual phone number to send text messages through the Delta Net, is that we don't have a way of sending a text message on behalf of your actual cell phone number. Um, nor do we have a way of logging any messages received at your actual cell phone number. So in order for us to provide that full functionality and allow you to um, send out a bulk text message to a group of recipients or send a text message to an individual customer um, and still be able to log that conversation or be able to send a text message out um, automatically through a campaign. We need to have a phone number that's basically provisioned for that kind of use just in the Delta Net. So that is what this virtual phone number is for. So now once you have your virtual phone number set up, you can use it in a variety of different ways. So first off, if I go to my customer center, for example, um, or really just any customer profile page, so in Delta Net 6, I can go to CRM here, 
and I can click on Customer Center to get to my Customer Center, or I would click on Customers and Customer Center in Delta Net 5. That'll take me through to my Customer Center page, or I can just type a customer's name up here in the search box and find my way directly to their profile page that way. So from the Customer Center, we'll go down, and you can see I can click on any of these, or I can just go up here. Type in a name and then view customer info and that takes me straight to their profile page. So from here I can scroll down to the messages section and I can now send a new SMS message. So if I click on that, it looks like this particular customer has opted out <laughs> of all SMS communication, which is something that we um, you know, keep a, keep a handle on in here so that you are um, operating within the bounds of what you're allowed to do through text messages. But if we try another customer, take a guess here and see if this one's got anything for us. Here we go, back to our customer center. Another customer profile page. Here we are, and now send new SMS message. You'll see the, the button is now green. If I click on it, it opens up an interface where I can just type out a text message. This is my text message. And then hit send message, and it'll send out a text message to this customer's cell phone number. And that's all there is to it. Now the beauty of this is it will now log both sides of the conversation here in this messages interface. So I can send a message to them, it'll log that here, and then if they send a reply, it'll log their reply here also. So it just allows you to easily keep track of all of the text messages that are going back and forth between you and that customer. Now the next thing you can do with text messages is we'll go up here to marketing and then down to message blasts and mail merge. Um, now this would be the email blast system in Delta Net 5. So if you went to customers and email blasts, that would take you to the same place. But we'll go here, message blasts and mail merge. And you can see we have an option up here for SMS blast. So I'm going to click on that. And now this is basically our, our SMS sending interface. And this works in much the same way. So I choose the date that I want it to send, or I just leave it blank, it'll default to today. I put in the recipients, or a whole group of recipients if I want. So um, we'll go to group A, why not? But you could create a group of just customers that you know have opted into SMS messaging and create, say, a text message group and then you would be able to pull up that whole group here by just typing in the name of the group and selecting it from the autocompleter. After that you type in a subject. Now the subject is mainly for the history for these text messages. So I'm going to type my actual message content here. Thanks for visiting my open house. Why not? That sounds pretty good. Now for that I'll also want to put in a subject just for the history portion of this. So I'll say open house text. That's not actually going to appear in the message, just the message content is going to appear in the actual text message. But then down here in the history, it's going to display my subject line as the entry that will be for this text message. So if I wanted to pull it back up later and resend it to a different group of recipients, anything like that, um, I would be able to do that from this history section. But this subject is more like a title for this message set to help me go back in and differentiate it in the history from any of the other messages I've sent here. So now the last thing you can do with text messages, or I should say the last thing at this point that you can do with text messaging, is you can set it up as part of an email campaign. So I'm going to go to, again, marketing and then campaigns and action plans, or in Delta Net 5 it would be under customers and campaigns and action plans. And that'll take me to this page where I can see all of my email campaigns. So through all these campaigns, well campaigns and action plans rather, <laughs> um, we can go down here and find one that is editable to us, you know, a custom campaign you've created. So I'll use this copy campaign. There we go. Or I could create a brand new campaign that's just meant for text messaging. I would just click on add new campaign and then give it a title. And then once I'm here and I go to add messages to this campaign, I'll click on new email, SMS, or action. And you can see I have an additional option here. So instead of just setting up a new email to go out, or creating a new action, which would basically create a new to-do, I now also have the option of creating a new SMS message. So we'll go ahead and say new SMS. There we go. Um, now I can choose all the same sending options that were available to me if I were creating a regular email through the campaign system. So if I were to go in here and say um, date, I can choose it to have this send out on a specific day, 
or you know, say the first of every month if I wanted to do something like that. I could have a message just go out on the customer's birthday. So every customer that's in this campaign, when their birthday comes up, it'll send this text message out to them. So I have all the same options that I would with email. So with this one, we'll go ahead and go with interval, and we'll say 30. So this would mean that when a customer is added to this campaign, the 30th day after they were added is when this text message will send to them. Subject means the same thing it did before. It's just going to be something that fills this in so that I can easily reference this message. And we'll just call it the 30-day message. And then you can see we have a few things filled in here automatically for what the actual text message content would be. So you can keep this uh, um, dear customer name and have the lead signature in there if you want to include that information. And then right here in the middle, you can just drop in what you want your message to be. There we go. I'm sure you'll come up with something more clever than what I've put there. <laughs> but it uh, it gets the point across. So, so you'll set up your message, and then when your message is good to go, we just click on Publish. It'll have me confirm. OK. And now that message is part of my email campaign. I'll go ahead and refresh this page, and we should be able to see it in there. And there we go. So now we have first day, it sends this message out, and then 30th day, it sends out my text message. There you have it. And just like the other um, campaign options, I can click on view and I can get an idea what that text message will look like. So there you have it. That is what you can do with the text messaging system as of today. That is how you go in, set up your virtual phone number, and then once it's set up, you can start interacting with your customers through the Delta Net via text message. Um, now, whenever a customer replies to one of your text messages to that virtual phone number, you'll get a notification in the Delta Net if you're logged in. Um, or you'll get a message that you know you can log in because you have a new message waiting for you. So it allows you to go in and you can go in on your phone because um, the Delta Net is fully mobile responsive. So if you have, uh, you know, if you get a text message, you can just open it up on your phone and you can actually interact through the Delta Net using your mobile device in addition to just doing it on a computer. So there you have it. That is how you can set those up and send those out and receive them. <laughs> so. As always, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to send an email into support at deltagroup.com or give us a call and we'll be happy to walk you through whatever you need. Thanks a lot.